Our next guest sucks. <laughs> 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 he is the, uh, the creator and, and uh, the voice of both uh, Beavis and Butthead. Uh, it's a show which Newsweek magazine, uh, late in the summer, called uh, part of a billion-dollar battle to insult your intelligence. Cool. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Mike Judge. Mike, nice to see you. Have a seat, Mike. Wow, this now, this phenomenon of Beavis and Butthead is really quite something, isn't it? And I think the question... Everybody wants to know. First of all, people who watch the show mm -hmm. all agree, yeah, I, I know guys like that. I, yeah. I see guys like that. Maybe I'm a little like that. Where, where did they come from? Well, they aren't based on any uh, particular people. It's just sort of my general impression, I guess, of, you know, 14-year-old uh, <laughs> well, That's a little discouraging, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> well, it's a little exaggerated, I guess. Yeah. And uh, these, uh, anybody, uh, any uh, personality characteristics of uh, um, friends or neighbors well, or? There's different, like when I was uh, in college, uh, we had a bunch of us shared a, we had roommates in a house and there was a, a kid next door that um, used to call himself Iron Butt. Mm -hmm. And he had uh, Why did he call himself Iron <laughs> Butt? Well, he did this thing where he would demonstrate how he could, uh, he'd, he'd stand in this position and all the kids could kick him in the butt as hard as they wanted it, <laughs> and it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> so I'd like to see the Japanese beat us at that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest country in the world. Iron butt. <laughs> so there, that became yeah, butt he head, was, sort of. Well, so, I mean, I started out trying to draw a kid I went to high school with, and it didn't look like him, but it, it ended up looking like what, what is now Butthead. Mm -hmm. And then I drew, uh, I drew Beavis sort of as a companion. <laughs> now, my observation is that Beavis, Butthead, maybe have just a little sense. Just a yeah, little butthead sense. Yeah, Butthead has maybe just a little bit of common sense. Yeah. And there. Beavis is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Beavis is just like gum stuck to Butthead's shoe. That's, that's pretty much that's the good, way yeah. I see it. And yeah. part of the show on MTV is these two guys sit on their couch and do very little other than watch TV and yeah. talk about the, the videos on MTV, and a lot of it is very unflattering. Now, do you, do you hear from the bands that these guys talk about? Um, I don't personally. I've, I've heard a couple bands their management has called and mm -hmm. said, you know, it's not very nice, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's, it, it shouldn't be taken seriously as a musical criticism, which it, for sometimes it, it is, but um, <laughs> there was... Uh, I was actually at a concert, and one of the bands that we really ragged on is this band Grim Reaper. I mean, they had this video that was, this isn't just my opinion. I mean, this thing was really bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, was like, uh, it was like Spinal Tap or something. And uh, so Beavis and Butthead were just really going off on it. And I was at this concert and uh, this guy comes up to me. I was in a little backstage or, or whatever area. And this <laughs> guy comes up and says, uh, Mike Judge, this is Nick uh, something from, guitar player from Grim Reaper. And, uh, and, I, and he was a big guy, and, and I, the first thing that just came out of my mouth was, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and he said, he said, oh, no, Mike, I, I love the show. When I saw that video come on there, I said, you know, if, if they say this is cool, I'll never respect the show again. And he said, we got another video. It's even worse. I'll send it to you. We've got to send it. So uh, could you, it'll could be you, the next season. Could you do, and I don't know if this is even fair to ask you, but I know since you do both voices uh -huh. and it's your creation, can you do for us a conversation between the two? Is there anything oh. that... Oh, yeah! Okay. Um, I don't know about a conversation I can do. Well... Yeah, I'm not sure these guys ever uh, have an actual conversation. <laughs> but it is kind of like... Uh, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> and Beavis is kind of... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Wow! That's what I do. <laughs> you know, Anybody can do it. No, no offense, Mike, but I could have done that. <laughs> See, but I thought of it first. Uh, well, that's true. <laughs> and you now you're, you've gone multimedia. You you have entered the the music business yourself. You you've done a, a CD. Beavis yeah. and Butthead singing with a lot of stars, one or two stars. Well, we've got, um, there's one song where, Be where Butthead does sort of a Barry White style love song, oh, great. talking it through. And then we have a, uh, a 
a duet or trio, actually, with Cher and Beavis and Butthead doing... Now, that's me, that seems like an unlikely combination. Cher and Beavis and Butthead. Would, would they yeah. normally be drawn to Cher? Would they like... Would Beavis and Butthead like her? Um, yeah, I guess so. You know, she, she kind of doesn't wear a lot in some of her videos. Like, the end of that. And I that's guess. all it takes, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they, um, I guess we, we were in a meeting talking about people to be on the album, and, and Cher's name came up, and... You know, and immediately I just thought Cher doing I Got You, Babe, with Butthead. And, <laughs> and uh, it, it sounded funny. I was real nervous about actually trying to pull it off, but I think it came out pretty good. Oh, good, good. And she, Cher doesn't like, uh, she doesn't like Beavis, but she likes Butthead a lot. <laughs> and, she, uh, the woman has great powers <laughs> yeah. of discernment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she... Uh, uh, I, I like it. I've uh, been watching it uh, for about six months, and I like it because... It's so consistent. It's so pure to itself. It's just wild idiot behavior. And it's, <laughs> there's something very, very satisfying about that. I think you do a very nice job with it. Well, thank you. And we have, I understand, something that you have done for us. Yeah, We're going to show is, uh, a few seconds. Little, uh, clip. Why don't we go ahead and play it? Okay, here we go. Take a look at this, folks. Uh, Beavis and Butthead, Mike Judge, the creator. <laughs> this is <a> cool. <laughs> so, like, uh... Say hello to our good friend Beavis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be nutty. <laughs> so, like, this is our uh, top ten list <laughs> from our home office in Butt, Montana. So <laughs> <laughs> <is> cool. <laughs> It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much for being here. Continued success with Beavis and Butthead. Have a great holiday. Mike Judge, kids. We'll be right back. <laughs>